Here is the latest Africa news update. Question coming in from Michael Omare from Tunacheki. And Michael says, how long do you recommend governments on the continent to keep their lockdown and curfew measures? So it, it, we, we have, um, we are actually in the issue of issuing guidance on how to on, uh, ease up lockdown. And hopefully by uh, next week, should, those guidelines should be uh, uh, um, out. But once we issue that, I think it's really up to the countries to take those guidance and then uh, customize it uh, in their, uh, their context, the local context. It's very important to do this because, I mean, you cannot issue a blanket uh, recommendation to all countries. They should be looking at a stepwise approach in unlocking the, the system uh, so that uh, people can continue to, um, uh, of course, uh, ensure that the livelihoods are, are protected and the lives are protected. So it's always a balance between saving lives and livelihood of the continent. So I, I would just say that uh, <clears throat> we should remember what our con joint continental strategy, which was endorsed by the Bureau of the Head of State, uh, speaks to. It speaks to a couple of things. It speaks to cooperation, coordination, collaboration, and communication. So the cooperation piece is very important because no country in Africa is an island. And as, as I stated earlier in my introductory remarks, COVID will not be eliminated in any country if we have it anywhere on the continent. There. So COVID in uh, Tanzania is COVID in Tunisia, is COVID in South Africa, everywhere. So we really have to coordinate our efforts as much as, as possible and cooperate with the, the, the Africa CDC and with WHO so that we, have, uh, we exercise coherency and build trust with the community. Uh, and my last remarks on that is that we have to really ensure that the, the, the victory against COVID-19 is led by the community, is owned by the community, and we have community champions. That is the only way you build trust with the community, so that we send a coherent message with the community. Uh, it starts in the community and ends in the community. So by building a coherent message in the community from the top leadership of the continent, uh, will help ease the, 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 the struggle. We are in for a very long fight. I mean, let me be very clear with every, everyone. Uh, we are just at the start of of our journey in, into this. Uh, it's a war that um, we'll see many battles that will be won and many battles that will be challenging. But overall, it's a war that we have to win and we have to win with cooperation with the, the political leadership, cooperation with the, the public health experts, cooperation with the community and po cooperation with the scientists. So I think that is very important. Now, with respect to the approved herbal remedy, it is a fact that uh, a local remedy uh, on the continent has uh, uh, proven over the years to be extremely uh, valuable as part of our overall uh, uh, healthcare system. We should not neglect that. And we, Africa CDC, uh, as your specialized technical agency, it stands by to work with um, uh, uh, anyone who has any product that can uh, bring a solution to this war that I just described. The African Union also has a regulatory bodies uh, with uh, NEPAD that uh, you can, uh, we can work together as part of the task force that we establish uh, called the African Task Force for Coronavirus Preparedness and Respond to, to test and tease out some of these uh, remedies there. We should not discount anything at this point. We should know that the solutions may come completely from unexpected quarters, but all we ask is that it should be a standard way of doing things that follow a standard protocol that is known I mean, in the scientific community, and that scientists and public health experts should be leading these efforts in the country, and with no one should be in the haste to declare and make any announcements on any remedy or herbal product that has not been tested rigorously. It's very important that the two key things are protected, which is safety and efficacy of, of those remedies. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.